Hi all, Tech Terry down here. Today, let's talk about links. So something you may not have thought a lot about, but I would argue is making a big difference in how you experience the internet today. So let's start with a little bit of history. So blue links, everyone's familiar with the way that these look. Most of the time when you're in a document or if you're looking at some type of link, maybe on even Google search results, you're gonna be familiar with what this blue link looks like. This sucks. To be quite frank, you know, all of the different documents that we work on today, there's a much better way to present these. And I would argue that the best way to do that is through these link previews. So what you can see is I'm actually in Fig Jam right now. And so let's take a look at what link previews actually does. So instead of doing that blue link that we're all used to, it actually gives us a lot more information. So we get to see the picture, we get to see the title with a brief description of what the article actually talks about. We get to see the source that it's actually coming from. And so link previews, in my opinion, are what making the web a much richer place to experience. Link previews, I'll argue, is one of the better ways that the web is becoming more dynamic and just making it a much easier experience for people who view it. So let's take an example. We'll continue with this example of this article and let's see what it looks like in a couple different places. So the first place that you might not realize that is using link previews is actually an iMessage. And so in iMessage, you can see that instead of giving that blue link, it actually displays the article, puts it in a nice little card format that people can click on. And it just gives it a nice, rich feel when you're in iMessage. All right, let's see what the alternative is. So let's say, for example, I was wanting to paste that link directly into a presentation. So if I were just to paste that link, not doing anything fancy, just copying the URL and putting it here, I've got this. All right, and to make that better, first of all, it hasn't even realized that it is a link. It's just pasted this as text. I'd then have to come in here, hit command K to turn it into a link, and that's still not great. Okay, so I get a little preview here, but I have to hover over it. And if in a, in a presentation, uh, that's not gonna look too good. So I then need to edit the link, you know, give a description here, and I might be able to change that text. Still not great. To make this look anything like the link preview that we saw previously, I'd have to put in an image. And to be honest, it's probably not worth it. Now let's look at a Google Doc. So for a Google Doc, same thing. I've pasted a link in here. Again, I have to hit enter. Now it realizes that it's a link. And again, if I hover over it or click on it, it'll give me the link here, but there's gotta be a better way to make this look a little bit better. Nothing about this link tells me anything about it. If I were reading this document, probably wouldn't click this at all. And I know that not everyone is actually taking the time to update the link here to say, you know, Google switch to Android and making it a nice, nicer link like this. So it should be easier, right? And I think that FigJam does a really nice job of this. So if we go back into this Figma file, again, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just hitting command V. And you can see here that it's generated this nice preview. So it knows that it's a link, turns it into this nice card, doesn't turn it into this blue link that, to be honest, sucks. So FigJam is one tool that's doing a great job of this. And I'm also inspired by what Notion has done. So if we look at Notion here, we can see a couple examples of other links that they can make dynamic. So if you were to paste a Google Maps link, it knows that that's a map. So it automatically generates a map embed in there for you. If you copy a link from Spotify, it goes ahead and copies that playlist embed in there for you. And if I paste the article, it's going to give me two options. I can create a bookmark, which generates this nice looking link again, or I can hit paste and do an embed. And sometimes this will render the actual website itself doesn't work for all websites, which is a bit of a bit of an issue here, but sometimes it'll embed the entire web page in here that I could scroll in. And this is a much nicer link. 
if we were actually looking at a Notion page and I saw this link versus this one, I would probably be more inclined to actually click on this link or take it a little bit more seriously than just this line here, which tells me absolutely nothing about the article. Another interesting tool th that I found that uses these link previews is a tool called Almanac. And this is a take on uh, Google Docs. So if you were just to paste the link in here, it pretty much does the same thing that a Google Doc would. But if you actually choose the option for embed and paste that URL, it'll give you that preview and you can embed that link. And it gives you that pop up there, which is a little bit better, a little bit more dynamic. You can resize that however you'd like, which I like is really nice. And you can actually change the style. You can change it from a frame to a card, or you can even make it in line if you really just wanted it to be nice and concise, but I still don't love the, the naming convention. So I prefer the card option here. So you can see how you can really jazz up your docs with something like Almanac. I'll do a review on Almanac later. I think it's a really interesting way to make more dynamic docs. But overall, I think the trend towards preview links is really interesting. I'll link some articles here that talk a little bit about these link previews and the APIs that are used, everything from Notion to FigJam and the way that they talk about it. And a really good description here from this blog that I found that talks about link previews, how they're implemented and what they are, if you're interested for more details. But overall, I think the move towards link previews is one that's going to be really interesting to watch. The web is way more dynamic than it used to be. There's a lot better ways that we can display information for people to click on. And overall, link previews in any tool that I'm using makes me a lot more likely to want to use it because it looks better. It's easier. I don't have to think too much about what I'm actually clicking on. I can get a preview here. And it's one of my favorite features that I'm to start to take note on some of the newer tools that we're seeing come out like Figma, Notion, and Albanac. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos like this one. And what do you think about link previews? Do you like it? Not like it? Do you have other examples? Leave me questions or comments. Thanks for watching.